The question on my mind this morning is how we stand up to a bully. If you look carefully, there you can see a deer minding its own business. The deer is by and large a peaceful creature. They survive by eating vegetation. They're not carnivorous. Carnivores survive by eating the flesh of other living creatures. And we might think of them as in a more metaphorical sense, bullies. <clears throat> and so the question before us right now is as a nation, we've seen numerous instances of our leader, the most powerful person in the world, using his power to bully other people. I recall when Meryl Streep stood up and courageously at, I think it was the Academy Awards, spoke from the heart about Donald Trump and what he was doing to this country. And Donald Trump bullied her. He bullied her through his weapon of choice, the tweet. He said, she's overrated. And then there was one of my icons, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who spoke out against Donald Trump. And Donald Trump went to his arsenal and tweeted that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had no friends. Everybody hates him. These are all his opinions and these are all aggressive acts that do nothing to bring us together, to heal. Instead, they only advance the agenda of one person, himself. And Donald Trump, oh, my hat just blew up there. Did you see that going down the hill? I have to go down there and get it. Donald Trump has abused the office that he now holds. And when anybody speaks out against him, he uses Twitter to go after him, his Twitter followers. And he accuses people who go after him of being biased against him, against conservatives, against Republicans. This is the shadow. This is the shadow emerging in American society today. And it's a shadow we have to deal with because there are aggressive people out there who have no agenda other than to advance themselves. These are the people that are in power today. And they got to where they are because peace-loving people, <clears throat> gentle people, wouldn't stand up against them. 
I consider myself a pacifist. And years ago, I heard someone say something to the effect that never get into a wrestling match with a pig because you're both going to get muddy and the pig likes it. Certain people in the world take pleasure from pissing other people off. And I believe that Donald Trump is one of those people. And I've wrestled with this because here I am championing truth sphere, which holds out the hope that we can be objective, we can be civil. And yet, here we are faced with perhaps the greatest threat to this country, to American democracy, certainly within my lifetime. And if we simply stand up and don't fight, but just watch, then the threat gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So this morning is kind of a turning point for me, where I realize that we're not going to win this battle by being nice guys. That we have to go in there and start scrapping. Much as we dislike it, we're going to have to get in that pig pen. And we're going to get muddy. And we're not going to like it. And maybe the other side is going to like it. But it's something we got to do. Because if we don't do it, it's only going to get worse. This is the challenge that awaits us. We can't back down if Donald Trump or others accuse us of being biased. If we're biased, we're biased against bigots. We're biased against people who are deceiving us. We're biased against those who hold no respect for the truth. And you know what? I'm proud to be biased against those who hold no respect for the truth. Because in the final analysis, it's not bias. It's simply a passion for the truth.